Hey, my legion, how y'all doing? Yeah, you know, I got off work earlier. I got to get a bath. I'm all filthy. And, you know, I ate and stuff. I haven't cleaned up. Uh, I want to do a short video. Another one. I did the one of the review of the fish and chips, and they were both lousy. I mean, it was a real disappointment. Because usually, those fries weren't good at all, and the fish was doughy. And, ugh. I'm shocked, because... The Walmart fish fillets are really good, and like the Walmart brand season fries are really good, but oh well, the other stuff wasn't any good. So that was a disappointment for me. Well, anyways, I got more stuff from that guy that's giving away stuff for the last two weeks. He's marrying this one older lady. He's not allowed to have anything. So he's giving everything away at work. No names. But I thought I'd show off the things I got this week. He didn't bring anything uh, in uh, Monday, but he brought in things uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, including on Wednesday, he brought in a bunch of hats. And I'm not going to, I don't want to have a hat from someone else. It's just not, you know, I, it doesn't sound too health, too sanitary. You know, you can wash and stuff, but uh, I, I don't want to do it. But I got a whole bunch of other cool stuff. I'll show you what I got. First of all, I'll show you the one book I showed on Facebook. Nocturnal Witchcraft. Now this book looks book looks really cool so far. Has a lot of really neat stuff in it because I have a lot of very unique and cool and great friends on uh, both uh, YouTube and Facebook who practice. And I thought, you know, it's it's definitely a, a point of interest for me. I thought I'd at least understand it, read it, and at least understand it a little bit more. So this should be a pretty cool read. Nocturnal Witchcraft has a lot of cool stuff in it. Then I want to show you this, the Big Book of Vice, and this has is this is like comics, a bunch of different stuff, all vice related. See the Big Book of Vice, see the girl right there, pretty cool. And the subject matter is Sin Cities, like Vegas and uh, in Phoenix City. Alcohol, drugs, and they got stuff like uh, cocaine, the curse of the Incas, uh, what reefer madness, peyote, sacred cactus of the north of uh, the southwest, and these are all like neat uh, things. Timothy Leary, Let's see what's next. Tobacco, all stuff about smoking and stuff. Uh, sex and more sex. Hey, 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 hey now. Prostitute the gods, the golden age of prostitution, uh, the whores of war, <laughs> uh, Hollywood madams, Mustang Ranch, the evolution of porn, porn, live nude girls, the patriot of porn, salt in the sleaze, master of the porno verse, awesome. They got gambling next, uh, and then they got the devil's playground, including stuff like comic books, threats, or menace. But there was a time in the 50s when they were saying that comics lead to juvenile delinquency. A whole bunch of cool. This looks really awesome. Cool book I picked up. I got some DVDs. So these are movies. I'm going to share these with uh, on uh, my movie uh, channel. But I wanted to show you. Here's another book right here. More Dumb, Dumber, Dumbest. True News of the World's Least competent people. This looks pretty cool. It looks like one of the things submitted for your disbelief. A restaurant is found guilty of deep frying a Barbie doll. <laughs> what the hell? But before I show the movies, I want to show you these cool shot glasses. Like in the title, I got this. He was giving away these shot glasses, a special collector's two, two pack of, from South Park. Shot glasses. One of the chef and one of the kids from the show. Okay, this is already opened up. I think he got to say the price tag right here. He got to set uh, media play for ten bucks a long time ago, I guess. See, you got all the kids right there. That's pretty cool. And then you got Chef. And Isaac Hayes is no longer on the show because of uh, the whole thing about Scientology and stuff. But you got Chef right there. That's pretty cool. One of my South Park uh, shot glasses. And there's other shot glasses I got there. Really neat show them all to you and then I'll go back to the DVDs this is from uh, Geneva on the lake it says 
say when Geneva on the lake what does it say go back okay zero ounces are for rabbits one ounce for ladies two ounce for gentlemen three ounce for pigs and four ounces for jackasses hickaw it should be hee-haw not hickaw but that's pretty cool you should show it slower that is pretty cool I like that one you got some other cool shot glasses <clears throat> uh oh a skull a flaming skull shot glass oh I wonder who'd like this look at the skull on there isn't that cool with a little gem in there that's neat okay I got some other cool stuff and these are all ooh a gargoyle with the gems for eyes in a shot glass that's cool I got some other cool shot glasses to show. He had these wrapped up really tight, so these must have been. He must have had these wrapped for a long time. But look at this sun. That's cool right there, the sun right there. That is pretty cool. These are nice glasses. He had some other ones. I should have got more, but it sucks because he comes in and then I'm stuck at press. I can't get off till break time, so people. There's always people ahead of me getting all the good stuff. But I got some decent stuff. This is from Valley Forge, PA. See, Valley Forge, PA. That's pretty cool. See, we got the Titanic. The ship right there. Look at that. Pretty cool. What else? I got some other stuff. See, we got a couple more. Show you this one. This one, uh, yeah, Niagara Falls. Look at that, Niagara Falls, USA, and Canada. Yay, Canada. See, Isn't that cool. And I got this one with a skeleton on it. Isn't that cool? That is pretty neat. The back right there. So that, I think that's all. That all, that's all. I'm going to put these back in here. Like he had this, these wrapped up really good. And I'll go and show you the DVDs now. Let me put these away first. And the DVDs are pretty unique stuff. Like him and I have the same taste. Pretty much. Uh, I don't want those to break. Oop. Okay, let's see what we got here. One that I did a review of. He let me borrow this for. He ended up giving it to me now. He, I did a review of it a long time ago. Scream Team, uh, Scream Queen Hot Tub Party. That's pretty awesome. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And, and then there's a bonus feature of One Million Heels BC with Michelle Bauer. That's pretty cool. Get that? I got. I have never seen this movie before. Everybody says it's really funny. I've never seen Old School. Old School Unrated. Pretty cool. I've never seen this one before. Got pictures in the back. See? Never seen this one. I gotta check it out. But like I said, he usually likes horror films like I do. I remember having this movie in, uh, seeing this in Germany a long time ago when it first came out. Fast food. Pretty cool. The one thing, the weird thing is they have like the names of the famous people in there. Kevin McCarthy's in this. And Kevin McCarthy, for whatever reason, is not listed in here. They have Tracy Lords and Jim Varney. But for what reason, uh, Kevin McCarthy's not listed in there. He's famous. Oh, well. Uh, let's see what else we got. This is something. Uh, Horrible Horrors, Volume 2. I remember he let me borrow uh, Volume 1. And if you ever remember, I did... Uh, Search for 70s Grindhouse and search for 80s Grindhouse. And those were both volumes of the Horrible Horrors. One was 70s, one was 80s. Now, these have movies I've seen before. The main reason I got this is it has the Crater Lake Monster, which is a movie I had like a million times, a million chances to rent while I was in the Army. And I remember reading about it, and they said it was really boring until the last 10, 15 minutes when you see a giant monster. And then after the years, I was saying... Well, I kind of wouldn't mind seeing that movie, so I got a chance to see it now. And also, there's Don't Answer the Phone, which I've seen. I can't remember if I've seen Terrified or not. Blood of Dracula's Castle, I have that. Nightmare 
and wax. I think I have that. I'm not sure. I might not have that one. Stanley, I have that. Uh, like I said, Crater Lake Monster, Blood Mania. I can't remember if I have Blood Mania. I have The Devil's Hand, though. And these are all movies uh, made by Crown International. And I did a movie, uh, a video called The History of Crown International a while back. <coughs> oh, man. Let's see what else we got. I heard a movie that's supposed to be really bad, but i never seen it. Meyer Breckenridge with Raquel Welch and uh, Mae West. Now, this is a 94-minute R-rated version. I, I think there's an X-rated version, or this, I don't know if this is uncut or not. I hope it is, but if it, I got it for free anyways, but I hope this is the uncut version. And John Huston said it is supposed to be like a movie that critics hated, but I, I'd like to check it out. And it's supposed to be a cult classic, too. One of my favorite comedies, Kentucky Fried Movie. I never had this on uh, DVD before. I remember I bought it on uh, Best Films and Video uh, early in the early 90s. And this is uh, from Anchor Bay, and it has like audio commentary, theatrical trailer, behind-the-scenes photo gallery, on-set home movies, and this is like a, a whole bunch of cool things. Kentucky Fried Movie is a great movie. I remember uh, talking to the guys when I was in Fort Gordon, Georgia, and they were saying they thought it was it sounded stupid, and they said we're never gonna see him make it. They don't know what they missed. It's a great movie, Kentucky Fried Movie, and this was made like two or three years before these guys went on to make Airplane. Okay, what else we got? We got a sci-fi movie. I heard it's good. I never seen it. Serenity is based on uh, sci-fi show Firefly. I heard this is really really good. I've never seen it though. Okay. A double feature from the Midnight Movies collection. I have a whole bunch of these. I don't have this one. Uh, Morons from <laughs> Morons from Outer Space and Alien from L.A. With, uh, oh, what's her face? Kathy Ireland. And I had a chance to get Alien from L.A. And also, uh, I didn't get it. And also, there's another movie that came out in the late 80s when I was in the Army called Dr. Alien. I never got that one either. If I can find Dr. Alien now, I would definitely get it and watch it. But these sound both good. Uh... Alien from L.A. is PG, and Morons from Outer Space is PG-13. All right, and what else was there? Showed those. So Serenity, that. Okay. And the last one is this Sleazy Slashers from Bad Taste Cinema. Bad, Bad Taste Theater presents Psycho Scarecrow, Dweller, Night Thirst, and Backwoods. I saw Backwoods last night. This is why I saved this one for last. It is awful. It's not to be confused. There's a movie with, uh, oh, what's her name? Uh, Hilary Duff's sister called Backwoods, which isn't bad at all. It's like a bigger budget. It's not what you'd expect for like a horror movie. And there's another movie about revenge called Backwoods. But this is like made on video for maybe a hundred bucks. It is so cheap. There's a gas station in the movie. And the gas station is, you, have you ever seen like, like I did like my picnic video? Like you, if there's like a state park, and they had like that big awning where all the picnic tables are at. They took out all the picnic tables. They had a guy sitting in a, like a car seat, uh, and there was like a barrel with a sign saying "gas," and that was supposed to be the gas station. That's how cheap this movie is. It is so bad. It is so badly acted. It is so stupid, and it's like the gore effects are horrible. Like this one guy, well, this girl was pregnant with this guy for 30 years. <laughs> She gave birth very graphically, and the and the girl is like a guy dressed up as a transvestite, and he said he was going to conquer the world. And then she bumped his head, and then he turned into like real retarded and stuff, and um, and he just goes on a killing spree. He does weird stuff like, oh, it's just so dumb. And then he kills this one guy at the pretend gas station with a plastic shovel. And when they show the guy hitting the guy, they see it must be like he was wearing a camouflage thing, and it was like they just had a camouflage outfit with like a blood thing in there, just showing blood. And you see like there's no arms, no legs. I mean, no feet or no hands. It's just a. It's so cheap and so badly done. It's horrible. But I had to mention that last because I did see that one yesterday. So these are all the things that that guy was giving away. I thought I'd share them with you. Hope you liked it. And if I get any more stuff, I'll be sure to let you know about it. So, hey, everybody. Take care and take care of my legion. Hope you like this crazy little show and tell video. All right, bye.